But without places like this, guys like myself and guys that have other problems can never get back on their feet. Uh, the House of Hope means to me it gives people uh, a chance, a chance they wouldn't have if they was out on the streets. It gives a person that wants, that wants to improve their life, it gives them the opportunity to be able to put whatever skills they have to use so that they can improve their life. If you're sitting out on the street, walking around on the street, it really limits your chances. At least here you can, you have a place to sleep, you have something to eat, you can take a shower, it gives you a much better chance. And also, it's up to the individual also. They need to put in the, they need to try to put in as much as they can, as much as, as much as they have for that to happen. Without that help, there's no telling where I would be. I would probably be out in the street, uh, uh, sleeping in a sleeping bag. I, I'd probably even be dead as cold as it's been. Um, I didn't have any place to go when I come here. I mean, I had no family that would take me in. And uh, they, they, they took me in with open arms and, and treated me with kindness. And I think it's something that every person should want to be able to help each other. That's what Jesus told us, help one another. That is the first rule, to help one another. We have this great opportunity at this new home, and I want to show you the location. This is walking home from 14th Street. You see there's two motels on either side as we walk down West 14th Street towards the home on West 15th Street. On the left again, there's the motel. On the right, there's a swimming pool store. On the left, there's a house. That is a residential house. Now this is the corner. You turn the corner already. On the left, there's another house. So that's the second house that you would actually pass as you make your way to the 15th Street house that could possibly be the new House of Hope. Right there, there's an apartment building. And then again, there's the house. There's a back gate that you can enter. So if you count up that walk, we passed a motel, motel, a commercial store, and two houses as we rounded the corner to hit that House of Hope location. Now parking, parking will not be an issue at this property. You can see there's a very long driveway, 95 feet long. The average vehicle is 15 feet long and there's 14 men right now and only two have vehicles. So it's really not an issue. There's the house on your left and now we're gonna travel down West 15th Street towards uh, social services or the, um, the health department building, health services. You can see these are residential homes on 15th Street Block. And then there you are off to the right hand side, the Health and Human Services. Now there's a house on the right. So we've turned around and now we're heading back towards the house. The house is on the right. The apartment buildings are straight ahead. And now instead of making that right is where we came from before, now we're going to make a left. And as you travel down, there's storage units. And then straight ahead down that hill, it dead ends basically at a commercial strip of several businesses. One of them is service title. Um, the other is, I think, a dental office. So there's really not going to be much traffic going through there and definitely not residential traffic. And then here is a soccer field. And again, the Health and Human Services building. Now let's take a minute to compare the two houses. Currently, the kitchen does not have an oven, it does not have a cooktop, and it does not have a sink in it. The bedrooms now, two bunks in 11 by 11 space. And in the new house, it's normal bedrooms, really beautiful bedrooms. The bathrooms, oh my goodness. It's just a long shot, you'll see in a tour soon, of bathroom and shower stall, shower stall, sink, and that sink is actually where they do their dishes as well. It's really a difficult space. This is the office of the current location. The floors are really in rough shape. Here's a toilet that is in next to the laundry machines. 
kind of a cramped spot. And then there's a toilet, two shower stalls. And then you'll see those are the linens. And then the sink is where they do their dishes also. I want to point out when we look back this way, there is only a shower curtain that separates the toilet from the shower stalls. The walls don't go up to the ceiling, so you hear a lot of sounds. And the guys are thankful for something, but boy, we have such a great opportunity of what an improvement on 15th Street. Another shot of the bedroom. And then this is the only storage closet that they have. Now here's the new house. This is the front room, that would be a dining room. And this is the kitchen, it's a totally normal kitchen. Double wall oven even, built-in microwave dishwasher. A little mud room, that is also where the washer and dryer could go. Pretty deck. Those doors there go to the basement. Here's a full bath on the main level. This could be the office, built-in shelving. We've kind of daydreamed that this could maybe be a quiet room, uh, reading, games. Here's a great spot. If any of the men do smoke, they could be outside and not just congregating in the back in a visible spot. They could use that porch. Now upstairs, three nice sized bedrooms. Here's one, two, nice full bath and the third bedroom. Now this is the basement. So much amazing space. This could be a great rec room. Another room if we needed more space for ping pong. This is another washer dryer hookup space, another sink, another full bath. Some utility space, storage. And then two more great storage closets. Thank you for taking these tours and taking the time. A typical day here at the house, I hope you get up um, and you get ready for work and you go to work, you come back here around about four o'clock, if that's when you get off from work, and then you start doing your chores. You either do chores in the morning or chores in the evening. Go outside, clean up the uh, front yard or backyard, clean up the bathrooms in here, make sure everything is copacetic. Uh, during the Christmas season, we were overwhelmed with a lot of food, a lot of food. So my good nature, I just said, you know, I don't want this food to go to waste, so let's just give some to the neighbors. And so we shared this food with all the neighbors in the area as much as we can. Like I said, we was in the day, we didn't have no place to put it, but I didn't want it going bad and I didn't want to spoil it. So I said, let me just give it away. And I'm still giving away food. Even now, we're still getting a lot of food. So it feels good to give back to people, even though I'm in a position here where people don't want to expect me to give, but I'm gonna give anyway. 